guys, I'm here with Octavia. See, this is my... I am so excited I'm going to my first ever NFL game. Tomasina, welcome back to my channel and if you're new thanks for tuning in I hope you're here to stay today it feels really good it's Friday the 13th and although that's supposed to be like a bad luck or like spooky day I'm feeling really really good this morning started my morning off with a nice bubble bath got to read a few more pages and the book that I'm reading which you guys Think and Grow Rich is my absolute all-time favorite book if you haven't read it I highly 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 recommend it it will literally change your life um, the book that I'm reading now is called Think and grow rich but it's the black version think and grow rich a black choice so it's basically the black version of the original think and grow rich which there's a whole story uh behind it about how napoleon hill had drafted a version of think and grow rich for the black community but he passed away before it could actually be published so dennis kimbrough kind of like finished it off and it was able to be published so anyways highly recommend think and grow rich by napoleon hill definitely add it to your read list but yeah, I'm feeling really good this morning, just full of gratitude and just super happy being me, y'all. I don't know, I'm just in a good mood and I felt the need to express that. But I am actually about to meet up with a fellow YouTuber for lunch. We're meeting up in Soho. Um, her name is Octavia B. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with her. She's huge on YouTube. So she and I are meeting up, which I'm really happy about because you guys um, know in a previous video I mentioned wanting to make friendships and make connections with other content creators just because they kind of understand this lifestyle a little bit more. Um, so I'm excited to finally get to meet her. We're going to Arepas in Soho. I think I've showed you guys Arepas before. I go there like every week. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this place and it's so uh, such great um, such great service and the, the staff there are amazing. So yeah, that's where we're going to go and I'm about to meet her. Um, now, I'm actu I actually do need to leave now because I'm a little bit behind. It's literally so hot. I think I might actually end up going to the beach today after this meeting i don't know we'll see like how time goes but it's it's mad hot like this is definitely a beach day i'm so late <laughs> i'm like five minutes away so it's okay This is why I said more. I needed more content creator friends because she gets it. <laughs> I do. I probably look so gross right now, but um, we just finished lunch. We literally talked for like two hours. I feel like I don't even remember what time we got there. She is so sweet. It is such a breath of fresh air meeting people who I guess are considered influencers who are just so down to earth and like authentic and genuine. But I'm gonna head home and I am gonna go to the beach because it's way too hot and I need to be by the water. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go do. It don't make no sense for it to be this hot on a platform. No sense. So like I know they gave heat wave warnings for like the past two days in New York City, but this, this is ridiculous. This is way too hot. Like I should not be pouring sweat. Granted, this is exactly what I asked for, so. <laughs> I'm happy um, because it's been raining and it's been like a really trash summer weather this year, but this is extreme. 
it's already like four o'clock and by the time I get to the beach it's gonna be like five five thirty so honestly I don't even know if it's worth it I'm just gonna keep walking for a little bit and see if I decide to actually go I decided to go because it's just way too hot to waste a day like this so I'm on the way there now I probably won't get there until like 515 ish but the sun hasn't been setting um, too early so I should be able to still get some sunlight by the time I get there maybe like an hour or two of sunlight which is good enough for me I don't want to be out there for too long they make you get off the beach when they yeah they the clear the whole beach and they just stand one side and feel they're yeah. what time is it 945 940 yeah they don't like it they don't like it okay thank you I totally forgot it was yeah. Friday got on the wrong train, went in the wrong direction. I was in such a rush that I literally put my dress on backwards, but I'm finally here. It was a hot mess, but I made it. So that's what the guy was telling me on the train is that they start to do fireworks at like 9.45. So they're already starting to set up right now. Um, so basically he was telling me not to come to this section but to go down over here so that I don't have to move once they start setting up the fireworks. Dang, I can't even see y'all. It's lovely out. A lot more people than last time. New York has had really crappy weather this summer so I think people are just taking advantage of the heat i'm trying to like take photos of myself but <laughs> it's so bright outside that i can't even see like what the photos look like so i don't think i'm gonna get any photos today which is fine because i really just wanted to come out and relax anyway but i always try to get instagram content wherever i'm going it's not looking likely like i literally can't even see what i'm recording right now i probably look a hot mess the sun is starting to set and it's getting really chilly out here i can even hear it in my voice that i sound like a little bit sick even though i'm not sick but like the cold you know how that works the fireworks are supposed to start at nine and y'all even though i love fireworks i just think it's so beautiful and so romantic and i would love to get that shot for like the video and dang where'd the light go it's just way too cold and i'm tired and like sticky and i feel gross and i want to go shower <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go home and I'm just gonna have to miss those fireworks. Look at this kitten. How old is it? Uh, it's one of my favorite Oh my goodness, you guys, look, he's so cute. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, you're vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, does he have a name? Good morning, you guys, or whatever time you're watching this video. It's Saturday morning, and you guys, I am so excited. I'm going to my first ever NFL game. It's even more major because it's the Jets versus the New York Giants. I'm not like this diehard NFL football fan, but the New York Giants was like my first introduction to the NFL. It was the first team that I was ever like a fan of um, just because my whole family's from New York and like that's who they were always rooting for. So I'm really excited that I get to see them play like in person today. I told my dad and he was like over the top like excited about it. So yeah, I'm excited to be doing that. The only thing is I don't have any New York Giants like paraphernalia so <laughs> I'm going to try to find a jersey or some kind of New York Giants shirt today so that's what I'm doing uh, this morning I am going to L train vintage which is a really popular vintage slash thrift store in Brooklyn it's only like a 30 minute walk away and, and in New York Times it's a decent like nice walk um, so I'm just strolling around the neighborhood this morning heading there and hopefully I can find a halfway decent not overpriced jersey to wear to the game tonight. I am obsessed with these brownstones, you guys. It is my goal to 
be able to purchase a brownstone in Brooklyn. Um, a model that I know in New York City, she just purchased her first brownstone. Um, and it's beautiful and I think it's on like a landmark street so she can't change the exterior which I'm sure she wouldn't want to anyway because it's really nice but they are really really beautiful multi-million dollar uh, homes so yeah definitely goals y'all it smells so good over here I think I'm coming up on like some coffee shops or something but I intentionally did not bring any cash with me so that I can practice some self-control and not purchase anything with cash and I plan to only use my card for the jersey if I find one so yeah you guys know I always say like never leave the house hungry in New York City if you can avoid bringing money that you know you're gonna spend avoid it One thing I really love about New York is all of the street art. Like, our people are so talented. section to attempt to find a New York Giants jersey. Wish me luck. They didn't have many Giants jerseys, but surprisingly they had a lot of Jets jerseys. I guess people don't want to let go of their Giants jerseys. But I think I'm going to go with this one just because this one is so like dingy. Whoa, there's a whole nother side. All right guys, so I successfully secured my jersey for tonight. I'm so excited. I know I posted another vlog about me thrifting on my channel and y'all the thrift stores that i went to do not compare to l train vintage i'm definitely gonna have to do another video because that is uh the best thrift store that i've been to thus far in new york city and l train vintage has multiple locations around the city so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to do another video but if you're in new york city highly recommend l train vintage the prices are immaculate and you know everything in new york is like extremely overpriced so it's really nice to find a thrift store that was actually pretty cheap for Instagram um, just in case I can't get any decent photos at the game just because I want to try to be like all in I want to try to be like present in the moment a lot of times I go to these places and I'm just recording the whole time or like talking to the camera trying to get content for you guys on Instagram but this is like I don't want to say a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity but it's not like often that I get a chance to go to NFL games let alone the Giants so I'm really gonna try to be like completely present in the moment so I probably won't be recording that much now I'm just gonna go chill out get out of the Sun because it is way too hot and yeah just relax until we get ready to leave Ooh, the Sun though
I'm back. It's about like 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm exhausted, but it was a good day, you guys. It was, well, it was a good weekend. The game was amazing. It was so exciting. We did lose. The Giants did lose. But it was a preseason game, so it really doesn't even matter. I'm not going to drag out this vlog <laughs> for any longer. Uh, my room is a disaster. So I'm going to do a little deep clean and then I'm just going to watch Harry Potter until I fall asleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this random weekend in New York City vlog. Just goes to show that there's always something to do in New York, which is why I love it here so much. I've literally never been bored since moving to New York City. And if I'm bored, it's literally by choice. So yeah make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you're updated every time i post a new video i've been posting on sundays at 10 a.m consistently and i think i'm gonna stick to that so yeah tune in every sunday at 10 a.m and i'll be here i'll catch you guys in the next video bye